Hey everybody, welcome to the Tuesday edition of The Scene. I'm Eddie Owen. I'm Chad Miracle. <laughs> no. Boy, something happened. Chad got wet and shrunk, I think. Uh, well, yeah. Among other things. I'm Becky Freeman. So okay. I'm just being silly. Okay, Chad's not here today. So he, hey, Chad's actually over at, Mur or at Western for the Murray Western basketball game. He's producing that. So you'll see that tonight, uh, right here live, starting a little before 8. Tip-off's at 8, and we'll join early to... Um, you know, talk to the coaches and all that stuff. Go Cats. Go Cats. <laughs> well, that might not be quite what they're saying, although we said it last night. Yeah, Go Cats. Right here I'm on, still uh, thinking it. on Cat Calls. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I'm still thinking it. We had a big show last night. It was the 2000th victory for Kentucky, the first school in history to reach it's pretty awesome. 2,000 wins. And um, so uh, Cat Calls next week goes back to its normal Tuesday. We had a full house last night. MJ was here. We had our Cat Calls, our 2,000 victory cake. Didn't save any. Yes, it is. It's in the newsroom. Or I did. Oh, it's in the newsroom. it out. <laughs> now you're going to, now she'll say, well, I don't really want any. Yeah, just yes, I really do. <laughs> well, it's good. It is so good. It's like double chocolate. Oh. Okay. But anyway, that's going on. All right. We are, uh, what are we, three days from Christmas? Uh, two days from Christmas we, Eve. Yeah, really. You ready? No. No. <laughs> I still okay. have two presents wrapped. Really? But I have another tree up. Two, two wrapped? Two wrapped. <laughs> Oh, you have two wrapped total. Total. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Well, I have, I have another tree up, though. You do have a tree. Well, I these, have two trees. These are left over, put them down here, you can see them, from last night. And MJ brought these in for cat calls. But they don't make any noise. You have to make your own noise. It's like, <laughs> That sounds like an, an elephant. I said mine sounded like yeah, a cow or something, but an elephant I think is probably better. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the, the, the little things were <laughs> But it was, a, yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> We miss Chad today. I, I tell you what, though, you show talent. See if you can do that thing where you can alternate them. She she can put one on each side and alternate. This must come from. Well, you were doing it really well before we came on the air. I was gonna say it comes from her breath control as a singer or something, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, I can do better. With not quite doing pressure. it. Not as good. Uh, we'll, we'll tape some of that and put it on uh, on YouTube pressure. or something. So I mean, all right. So how long is it gonna take you to wrap up if you get two wrapped? How long is it going to take you to get everything done? It depends on how long it takes me to get my shopping done. Oh, gotcha now. We, we understand. Yeah, well, you know, what can I say? Procrastination <laughs> is the word. Is it? Yeah. It used to be grease is the word. I know. Grease but, is the word. this is the wrong season, it, it's, it's procrastination. Okay. Yeah. Well. You know, you, you get this for this one, and then you think, oh, i got to get more for this one because I yeah, got this. you measure it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have to measure it up, and I have to say, okay, we got to do a little bit more for this one. So okay, here's, here's, here's the question. Here's the question. How is the um, <clears throat> Eddie stack lining up? Well, I gave you your chocolate mouse and <laughs> your cup. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, I did. Well, you did. Well, you know. Have okay. you been good? I absolutely. You think I'd admit it if I haven't? Yeah. No, I, I, anyway. He's okay. got witnesses, see. There you go, folks. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, by the way, on today's show, uh, Jana Smith is back. We're going to talk more about travel, specifically talking about Disney travel. Oh, man. And we're going to talk about going to Disney World, and we're going to talk about Disney Cruise Lines today. So Jana's here. She's a travel agent, Main Street Travel. We do some stuff with her, and so we're going to find out more about that. That sounds fun. Oh, uh, Great time. I mean, I've been Me to Disney calendar. World a couple of times at Christmas, and it's, you know, it's hard to do mm -hmm. because if you have a big family or something, you don't maybe want to be away from them. But if there's not, well, maybe you do. Um, <laughs> I was like thinking, that. Hey, we're away in Disney World family, thinking, Disney World family. But you can always go either before or right take after. Them with. Or take them with you, mm -hmm. you know. But they're, um, we went a couple of several years ago and you know had Christmas Eve dinner at Animal <laughs> Kingdom Lodge oh. and at the that buffet. It was wonderful. And then you wake up Christmas morning at Disney World and you take your dad and you everything's can have, decorated. You know, it'd be nice. It I've be. been at Halloween, yeah, and they were playing This is Halloween, <laughs> yeah. It and then the really Mickey's nice. Halloween party, and I know you didn't go because you said you didn't want to pay for it. Well, it was another extra $25, and when you've paid your life's blood already, you know. And maybe I would have had I've had a willing party to do that, yeah. you know. But I didn't have my Halloween costume, so oh. I would have been no fun. You could go as Becky Freeman. Oh uh, yeah, well you know I wear that mask every day. But so. um, well, anyway, we're going to talk about that today, and, and particularly right now, I mean they got great deals going on. Jana tells about that. I mean they're I think they're extending the deal where you buy four nights, get three free, and Ooh. all through next year, and and then the cruise line, of course, uh, we got two new ships coming up in the next couple of years. It'll be huge ships. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I've ever seen any of the ships. Do they have mouse ears? Or? Um, they actually do not have mouse ears, but 
There's I should. on the back of the ships, one of them has Donald hanging off and he's painting. <laughs> and like one of the, the triplets, Huey, Dewey, Louie, or all the, are hanging out this window about to cut his cord. Oh, cool. And on the other one, I think it's um, Goofy is hanging off Goofy. the back. That would be but mean. the neatest thing about the, the Disney ships is their horn. Because all the horns, you know, on ships are like, yeah. I mean, you know, it's like fog Heard horn. That. But the Disney ships plays when you wish upon a star. Aww. And I mean, and it'll make, it'll rattle you. It's so loud because when you'll be in port or something, go, <laughs> and that's how it sounds. I mean, it's really, really neat. Sounds like this ship's burping when you wish upon a star. Here's a trivia question. I don't know. Jana and I taped last week, so I'm not sure if we talked about this. I don't think we did. They are the only cruise line that are allowed to shoot fireworks at sea. Really? Yes. Because they have fireworks night every night, or not every night, but on pirate night, they shoot fireworks. Pirate night. They have pirate night. What do they do on pirate night? The pirates take over the ship. Oh, wow. Pirates attack the ship, take it over. It's maybe, you know, it's fun <laughs> pirates, fun pirates. Oh, yeah. They come and take over the ship, and then, of course, Mickey and his crew rescues, rescues the all day. of us. That the is so The people on the ship. But that's fine. But they shoot off fireworks during all that. So. They rescue Eddie. So if you, anyway, if you want, if you want information on all that stuff, you can talk to Jana, or you can... You know, email me and I'll get get in touch with her. For so you. the Disney cruises stop periodically, or do they just? Stay? Oh no, they go all over. They go, they go all over. And stop here. Yeah, and they stop do. There. They do a four night. They do a three night. They do a seven night Eastern, seven night Western. They do some. Uh, they're doing the Mediterranean again next year. I remember going to the Bahamas before in the past, and you get a little, or, or to Hawaii, you get a lay. What do you get when you get on a Mickey ship? A big bill. <laughs> Because they're expensive as hell. Like in Donald's? No, or? as in as in pay us. And that's one of the things you know, we'll talk about is the fact that they are much more expensive than. Yeah. Well, they have babysitting. Because yeah, they only have two ships. They only have two ships. So they don't have to cut the price. And, you know, right now. They have so. babysitting and things on the ship, too. Yeah, right all now. the cruise lines do. Well, you know, I never took kids on the cruise yeah. line. So, but, uh, yeah, they all do. And, and, and the thing I've heard most about that is kids go off, like, and I'm talking about maybe teenagers right. they don't want to go or whatever then they go and hang out with the other kids they don't want to spend time with the they parents because it's much more fun without well, them you know it i know yeah. i do know it and i know this it's time to take a break we'll come back with weather then janice here we'll talk about cruising and disney and all kinds of fun stuff we'll be back right after this <laughs> becky's practicing because she couldn't you know she couldn't get them to alternate earlier and i think it had something to do earlier you had them going up and then you had them out well, who knows Obviously, the skill is um, <laughs> not Breath perfected control. yet. Yeah. But anyway, again, hungover, hungover, leftover from last night's uh, party. Speak we, for you. <laughs> I had some root beer, but that's the closest. Root beer. Yeah. I, I like, like root, root beer. beer. I do. I, I, like I thought I remembered beer. that conversation. Yeah, so. I don't care for beer, but I like root beer. If you have any questions about the um, cruises and stuff like that, just email me, and uh, Jana and I will get in touch with you. I want to go. You want to go? I want to go. Oh, you'd, I be, do. you'd be dangerous. On a Disney cruise line? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It, it is amazing the number of people who go without kids. Well, no, I could imagine that. And people think that if you go on a Disney cruise, it's kids everywhere. And yeah, they're all over the place, but you don't see them because they're in their own place. Well, well you do see them, but you've got adult areas and, you know. Yeah, so your kid areas and your adult. You have the topless, you know. Adult rated areas. To topless, <laughs> uh, no, they don't have a topless thing on the Disney cruise. Uh, Carnival used to have topless. Really? Yes, and then they've, they've done away with it. I, you know, it was like the top deck, and you could go up there. They take the top off the deck. They take the top off the deck. Yes, <laughs> it was. Uh, I remember a Beverly Hillbillies episode. And I think we have it in our library where um, Granny couldn't understand. Uh, she opened a topless restaurant because she thought it was where <laughs> they didn't wear hats. You know, and that was the whole thing. And no top hats. No, they didn't have any hats, and so she thought that was going to bring in business. And of course, people came in, and then they looked at Granny and said, "You're going topless." And they said, "No, thank you." But that's a long time ago. So. I don't remember this one. Why did I not see that? Oh, uh, I just made it up. I think you did. No, actually, it's true. I, I used to watch all those good old shows too. I don't remember that one. That's that's actually that is one. Was she going to have Ellie Mae in there working? Well, no. <laughs> I think if they saw Ellie Mae, they might hang around. Yeah, they might hang around. Hat or no hat. Uh, Petticoat Junction. All the girls going over in the little thing of water. Mm -hmm. you know? And the little dog. And the little dog. And they all had their petticoats. They pulled in to the water tank, which I <laughs> always found weird that taking a bath in the water tank. Oh, um, that's kind of gross. But it was yeah, I guess that was the water tank for the train. It really wasn't for Let's the... Let's hope so. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll close it at that. I um, hope you have a great evening, everybody. Don't forget, we've got uh, Murray State basketball coming up tonight, Murray State Television Network. It starts at 8. We'll join a little early for the pregame festivities. They're taking on Western. should be a great game. You can see that game tonight. You can see it again tomorrow. Um, we'll air it a bunch of times, Christmas Day. And, and, uh, and once again, this year, we're the home for the Murray Racers. I still want to say go cats. Say it. <laughs> go cats. Go bye. See ya.